Right, as you can see, I've built my Aubrey farm. This is a very simple construction. It's just a bit of cobblestone as the base. I don't need cobblestone. It could be dirt. Could be could be wood. And I put the Aubrey's, and you can see I have already got a gold one that's grown and an iron one that's growing up. The here are the copper ones. Here are the tin, and I've got two rows of iron. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that slabs don't let the light through. There's another gold one that's just grown. So, with the, and from here I should be able to pick all of those without any problem at all. There should be one more row, that little bit of aluminium. And I'll have to extend this back a bit as well because it's too close at the moment. But we'll do that later on, I think. In fact, also I put a set of slabs on top of the the wood here so that the mops can't spawn on, on a half a slab so that's good too so next quest let's have a look what we got to do now so we've got all of these oh aluminium i should have got aluminium then i haven't planted them that's all let's do that now actually i might not be able to plant all of these i don't need so much aluminium either so you do need it for certain and won't be able to plant one there because it's but oh, maybe you can because it's too light it has to be dark enough we'll plan that later on um right quest book wasn't i oh i should keep away from that tree just in case it grows up so we did that we claimed those oh did i pick that one yes i think i've already claimed the reward haven't i back so the next one blood is flowing and here what I've got to do is make some fluid ducts. I've got to make one fluid duct. And a fluid duct is made by, let's have a look. It's actually made by three copper ingots. Oops, I've only got one doing fluid duct. There it is. F fluid duct opaque. Three copper ingots in a row will make six fluid ducts. So, what we've got to now do is be patient and wait until the copper has grown up and then we can harvest it. In fact, what I can do is with that extra iron I should be able to make a watering can and go and get some blood and actually give them some water. I think that makes it go faster. So let's have a quick look at doing that one. Let's try can. I think might be a quick way of typing that in. Do I see watering can there? Yes, here we go. Watering can. Empty. Broken. So we just need an empty watering can. Three smooth stone. Oh, one bowl. And some bone meal. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, except for I haven't got any string. I used it all up back in the back there. So I suppose the next thing to do is to actually get some more string. So let's take a couple of these. And we also want some bone meal. Let's put the bone meal on here. Hopefully we get a tree quickly. Yep, that was nice and quick. And let's put one silkworm on here and the other one over here. So I probably have to bash that mode down because I can't get through. Uh, where is it? Here we are. And then we just have to wait patiently until these things have grown up a bit. So I shall do that and see you later on. Hello again. I'm back again. This time I've made the Aubrey farm a little bit deeper because it was a bit too shallow before. So now I can get all of the corrosive Aubrey's I've got in here. I'm getting plenty of iron already. That's good. Gold is coming along and copper's a bit slow. Aluminium's also there. It's taking also a bit slow. But that's because it's, I think, because that's because it's near the door. So the next thing I wanted to craft was a watering can, wasn't it? So that was four stones. Um, one bowl and some bone meal. So the recipe for that is where's he gone to? There. It does move around and it asks me why. So if I take this one here, I can get one watering can. So now I need to go and fill it up. So let's go over to the to the, to the blood source, which I think will do. And I've also been putting up some fences to make me feel a bit safer, even if I'm not. I think there's a bit of gaps in here and I could only get so far, so... 
Ah, you see, already animals have spawned. And can I reach that from here? No. Yes, that seems to be sprinkled up. Good. So let's put the fence back again. Oops, there it is, isn't it? Number two. And off we go down again. I feel a bit happier when I get past the into the fences, even if I'm not 100% safe. I could make the the walkway a bit wider. That might be a good idea as well. And I think, oops, excuse me a second. Tom was telling me I have to go and get my daughter. So, let's see if this works. So let's try sprinkling the, the couple of Aubrey's with some water. It seems to be watering nicely. I don't want to get too near these things, they hurt. Tinobra's ready, look, gold's grown up already. But it's the copper the one we really need. Right, let's take some tin and some gold. And the idea here is I can reach everything and later on I shall put a harvester in here and a sludge boiler. Unfortunately copper is one of the slowest growing ones, but I also believe that the watering cans are good for trees. Let's have a look if that works on the trees. Oops, wrong one. Never mind. Try again. Fresh sapling. Give it some water. Well, it does work. A bit easier than bone meal. Since I've got some bone meal in the water and can anyway. There we go. How about that? That's pretty good. Impressed with that. I wonder if I can water through this hole here. That'd be really cool. Oh yes, I can look at that. Cracking. Right. I shall be back when I've got my Aubrey's from Copper. And so we can carry on and do the next quest. Until then, see you. Bye for now. Oh, hello everybody. I'm back again and now I've got some copper aubreys so we shall quickly put the copper aubreys in the furnace here one piece of charcoal will do 16 aubreys and while those are cooking up i shall show you what else i've been doing at the end of here i had some um vines i've cut down the vines and i built a platform underneath the actual access to the platform is here or a few little steps and then I can work from below and that's good but unfortunately I've just created this little platform one block too high because I'd like to be able to put blocks at this level from above so I'll fix that at another time and what else do I want to do while I'm here just to be absolutely safe I'm going to make a um, trap door I've forgotten how to do that, so let's just quickly do a trapdoor. Alright, just straightforward six planks in a in a row, which is what I've got. That makes two trapdoors, and I'm going to put this trapdoor on top of this here, on the other side of the where the hinge is on the other side by the ladders. So I can walk across that without risk of falling in. So now I've got 16 copper orbits that this should do the other another eight. And where's my crafting table? So we needed to make an orb um fluid X we need to make well it says I only need one but I now going to need more than that. So I made twelve. So let's have a look at the quest book again. Where am I? Blood is flowing. So veins was completed now it's the heart which is one portable tank now recipe for portable tank is actually f fluid ducts in a chest so I'll take those out of there back to the quest book again 
this is now com completed. So I can now claim my reward. So this time I've got, uh, let's have a look. Oops, wrong one. Some Aubrey's half a heart and a heart canister. Well, let's put the heart canister into place and that should give me one extra health point. And while I'm doing that, let's put some of this stuff away in the chest. I don't need it for the time being. And I will plant these iron Aubrey's when I get a chance because we'll need a lot of iron Aubrey's. Now the two half hearts I can combine together either on a crafting table or in my own crafting abilities and I get a full heart so now I right click that so now I've got five lives which is good so next task is to have a look at this one we've got to do this one blood farms and this is where I've got to get a bucket and I've got to travel 231 meters away so I shall write down the position here, which I've done. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a marker. In fact, I know it's going to be this direction. So what I shall do is I'll put a marker up here. In fact, I should put a marker where I am. Because I haven't done a marker on this island. I really need to make this path a little bit bigger. I have another egg. Plenty of eggs in there actually. And I still haven't built my gate, have I? Right, so to do a marker, I press M for map. And then I can come along here and I can simply right click somewhere on the map. So I shall say it was blood farms, wasn't it? It was a quest. I'll try again. and it's in marker route quests and I'm going to specify the location to being 322 for the Y 65 for the, sorry for the X for the Y and 22311 is the Z marker I think that's here I'm going to highlight that one yes blood farms there we are and I'm going to change the colour with C. I'll make it blue. I'm not sure what other colours we can have. Yellow. Actually, yellow's not bad. Magenta, cyan, cyan orange. Oh, actually, orange. Yes, leave it, let's leave it to orange. And that, the reason I've done the marker is so I know where I am. So this quest, we didn't put this down here, did I? So let's actually, um, it tells me I'm in a biome forest. So it's obviously over there. So the next step of the game is now to come back and craft lots and lots of wood. And actually, let's quickly look at the craft book, uh, quest book again. So 156 meters away. So from this place, it's not so far. So I shall go and build 300 slabs. Yes, around 300 slabs. And when I finish that, I shall come back and uh, see you again. Bye for now. Right, hello again. I'm a bit more prepared now. I haven't got all the wood I need yet. Some of these trees are taking quite a long time to grow up here. I'll give it another sprinkle. There we go. That one's actually done it at last. I think this one was taking a very long time. There we got two more trees. This time the small trees. But there is one trick that you can do with it. A blood altar and that is to put on top it onto the side hopper now, the recipe for hopper is very straightforward just for ironing at someone chest of course we've got that by now so that's no problem so let's put the hopper on the side of the, the blood altar I think I have to hold down shift when I do this and you can see that's now connected to there now the trick is each plank takes 50 LP and one cut of the knife take gives you about 200 and I gave this 11 last time and the altar can take about 10,000 so 
we have plenty of capacity. So if I cut myself another ten times, which I'll do now, that's eleven. I can do twelve actually. Eat another apple because I'm bound to need to do that a lot. So now I should have, if I've not forgotten, it was should be twenty. Three. So actually, I'll do another one more cut. I'll make it twenty-four. And twenty-four cuts will give me four hundred, four thousand eight hundred. And each one of those will give me. Uh, I then have to do, quickly do a quick division of that. And that should give me 96 pieces of wood. And what you can do with the hopper, you can do that like this. So let's just take the, this, this, this wood I've got at the moment. So here I've got six, a stack of 64 and a stack of 60. So I need a 32. Let's just split that into two. And then we shall put these two into the hopper. Oops, what did I just do? I took that out, didn't I? I want to put two more out of here. One, two. And then it, up, it does the whole stack in one go, which saves a lot of messing around. And now that island has rendered in, it's, it just takes a long time for it to render in. So while there's a cooking away, we can go and do that and eat another apple. But I've still got to make a lot more slabs. And I just wait here a bit and you'll see it appearing over here. Hopefully. Eventually. It's taking a very long time, isn't it? There it goes. So that's where we're going to. So, right, I shall carry on with my wood making and I'll see you soon. Hello, I'm back again. Right, I've managed to get the number of stacks that I need. I've calculated that I need 340 slabs to get there, which is five stacks and 20 extras. So I've got five stacks and 21. But I also realised I'm running out of food. Or doing all this uh, self-sacrifice means I've got to use little sort of apples. And I wasn't getting as many apples from the trees when I was using the crop. So what I've been doing is we shall go over back to the farm. I've put down some more slabs on the right hand side here. So I've got a double row now. And also I didn't I removed some of this. And I've also got two chickens here. And I was hoping to be able to get them inside to make them breed, but seems to be a bit of a problem to get them inside even with this so what I've been doing here is been harvesting some crops now how I did that of course is you take your some bone wheel put the bone wheel on the ground right click it on the ground uh, wrong I can't do a real apple and then you get grass so you then chop down the grass and hopefully pick up some seeds I've just seen I've got some bluebell seeds there Oh, yeah. and you keep doing this until you actually get some normal seeds I've got the barley seeds now actually barley seeds I think are slightly more and there's some more seeds there. so I've got two seeds like that so what I can then do is I can then take a hoe and plant them let's do that, these are mature so take those and I got three seeds. So that's actually quite a good return this time. Normally you get about anything between one and three. So how I did that is I came up, I extended the the base a little bit here. But I stood over this one, which is a, not quite over it, just near it. And then I took the axe and hit it because underneath this is a carpenter's block, which slope. It's got grass on it. And as you hit it, you get both the, the grass block and the cup in the switchback again. 
So here's the gut, here's the grass plot. And sometimes you get the carpenter's wedge. And sometimes it just falls to the ground. So I can take this grass block and plant it over here. Which is, or I could just keep it. And then I want to do the same again over here. Take the torch out of the way because the torch is going to be in the way. Make sure that I've got F7 pressed. I think I have. It's easy enough to find out. Let's take this one away. Yes, I have. I'll put him back again. Which is of course the mail, as everybody knows. Now let's just take this fence away here. And do the same for the switch. I was lucky again, I got both bits back. And that broke. But I've got a nice metal axe now to replace the um was it, was it an axe I was using? Yes, to replace the wooden ones. So now we can then plant some more seeds. That one just matured. Yep, let's see what we get from this one. So I've got four seeds at the moment. I've got two more seeds this time, that's good. So then I can plant those seeds and I can take my hoe. I made an iron hoe. I probably don't really need an iron hoe, but it's actually cheaper than using stone at the moment in terms of blood, so we've planted that. Then I can either use a watering can, make them grow faster. As you can see that works quite nicely. Hold it down there for a few more seconds. So that one is now mature. Do the same over here. We keep repeating this process until we've got enough wheat. So I've now got three wheats. I wanted to feed the seeds to the chickens, but they're not being friendly and coming inside. They keep escaping through these little holes here, so that's why I filled in this as well. I can take it out. It's a bit tricky to do that. You've got to sort of hang, dangle over the edges with blocks of dirt. So. Now it's night time and I'm going to go and close the gate. Now what I'll do actually is just in case I die I'm going to put everything I've got here into this chest except for the wooden slabs and the torches. I actually do want the fences that would be maybe useful especially towards the end. And I'll take my one apple. Was I'm a bit surprised there haven't been more animals spawning on this bit. Maybe it's because I... No, it can't be. I can't think of a reason. Right. So all I'm going to now do is to put the slabs down and go along till I get to the right coordinate. I think it's the X coordinate. Let's go back and have a look. This is the X coordinates moving down. Until I get there, I'm going to just do doubles. I won't need to come here very often. But I shall keep doing this until I reach that over there. And when I've done that, I'll, I'll come back again. Bye for now.